Yeah, so as I've mentioned before, a lot of foreign laborers in Taiwan are from Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, kind of the same way. There's a lot of foreign laborers in America that are from uh, Mexico. Uh, an interesting fact about this is Taiwan has three different sets of minimum wage. There's one for local Taiwanese, which is in the middle. There's one for foreign laborers, as they're known, and it's lower than the legal minimum for Taiwanese people. So they have a separate minimum wage for them that's lower than the one for the locals, which makes sense because if they would, if they had to pay a foreigner the same amount as a local Taiwanese person to do a job, what would be the point in flying over, you know, tens of thousands of people from other countries? Um, and then there's a, a, th a third minimum wage, and that's for Westerners, people from America, Canada, England. And that minimum wage is higher than it is for the locals. In other words, if, if a company hired me to do a job, they would legally be forced to pay me higher than they would a, Taiwanese, a, a, a local Taiwanese person. So they have three different sets of, of, of uh, minimum wages, and uh, it makes sense. Like there's, it actually is logical, uh, but there's no way in hell. Because I said, well, Americans should just do the same thing. They should just make all those illegal immigrants that are working illegally legal, and just give them a lower minimum wage. And then, uh, you know, that way, that way you could tax them. That way you could track them. That way they'd have ID. And but you can't do that because it's discriminating. Even though it would make them legal, even though they're already doing it anyways. It's just like with everything else. What's the point? What's the point in keeping it illegal when um, when everybody's going to do it anyways? You know, if you made if you made drugs legal, if you made prostitution legal, then you could tax it, then you could monitor it, then you can make it safer. They used to do the same thing with uh, foreign laborers, immigrant workers. Anyway, so um, the company there's a bunch of companies nearby here, and these large buildings here are the dormitories for the workers. So everyone you see, everyone you see in this video is Filipino. Um, they, 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 they used to, I was told by the, by the people here that they used to try putting the Indonesians and the Filipinos together, but like fights would break out constantly. So now they, they, the dorms are separated by countries. So this is, these two large buildings are Filipino workers, and there might be some buildings over there that are like Indonesian or Thai workers or whatever. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then, so, and then outside of their dormitories, you get these, these, these places, Amy's something, something. Sell, like Amy's Brunch, but it's spelt wrong, Branch. And the next one down is Cell Phones, SIM Card Shop. Uh, you have... Oh, my dog is on a leash, and she keeps walking in freaking circles around me. Oh my god. I'm literally... She's doing circles non-stop. So then, yeah, so we got Filipino foods here. Let's see if I can read it. Le Lempo Bangus. Chicken Lempo Combo, Bangus, a lot of Bangus and Lempo. Bangus, Bangus, sizzling beef steak, pork, pork sizzig, more Lempo, more Bangus. Oh, Pina Pai, Pina Paiten Ilocano, Pina Paiten Ilocano. Lampiang Shanghai, Lampiang Gule, I like this. <laughs> this is like fried on the outside and there's vegetables and meat on the inside, it's, I like that. Tempura, temp, tempura, tempura. I should know how to say that word. Oh, no. Look at this. How's that for a Filipino drink? Jeez. Yeah, so, it's interesting. In Aizai House Restaurant, Silok... Oh, hold on. There you go. In Aizai House and Restaurant, Silok Meals, Fried Foods, pen, Pien Tang... Tea house, Pinoy desserts. Pinoy means Filipino. Filipino is interesting because the word Philippines and the words Filipino are spelled so totally different. And then, and then you have words like Pinoy, which I think also just means like Philip, like Philip, Filipino. <laughs> Anyways, that's my that's my uh, Filipino community Taiwan video. Hey guys, I'm Virginia. You might not know this about Taiwan, but something like 3% of Taiwan's GDP used to be from butterflies alone. It's like, it's somebody even named it Butterfly, Butterfly Island. Speaking of butterflies, 
This is a murder hornet. Right there. It's a very poisonous, very large well, hornet or wasp. They're common here. They're not a big deal. Remember the news? They actually made you guys try to be scared of them? How, how crazy is that? Oh, murder hornets, murder hornets. We're all like a whole month on the news. And then nothing. It just shows how little v validity there is to what the news says. Like, it's just, it's gotten to the point where it's just ridiculous. That's my son over there. And my dog's in that cage in the water. She was being bad today, so I just stuck her in there and dropped her in. <laughs>